How much rowing experience do you have? Uh, so I've been rowing on the indoor rowing league sort of scene now for five now years. Time is flying by. And then over the last year, I've also learned to row out on the water. So actually water rowing, not that much. <laughs> Ocean rowing, zero. Indoor rowing, uh, a little. So kind of two to three years worth uh, of indoor rowing on the army scene. And then literally two hours on the water with Laura before getting into the ocean rowing boat. What motivated you to sign up for the challenge? So I thought, what's the cheapest way to get to Antigua? <laughs> <laughs> Only messing. So I think it's always good to uh, push yourself and never become too complacent. Does winning mean everything? Yes. I love a challenge. We also can't forget the fundraising side. So yes, winning is important. Yes, getting across safely is definitely important. Um, but in between there as well, we've got the fundraising for the RBL, which is also there in the back of our minds. What are you most looking forward to during this adventure? Um, I think just the, the laughs you're going to have with the team. There's going to be some low points here, yeah, we know that. But I think the high points are going to, you know, outweigh absolutely everything. The sunrises and sunsets, the dolphins, the possibilities of seeing sharks, for example, these are all incredible things that you don't normally get to experience in your life. So this is, this is the opportunity to get there. What are you least looking forward to? <laughs> Every week, really-ish, hopefully not, but probably we're going to have to get in the water and uh, clean the bottom of the boat. In the middle of the sea, where you can't see what's below you, you have absolutely no idea what's, what's down there at all. And you're hoping that someone stood on deck is on shark watch and hopefully they can see if there's a shark coming. Uh, for me, it's quite straightforward. Sleep, probably ranging four to five hours, uh, if you're lucky. Um, you know, I'm not going to hide it, it's going to hurt. <laughs> How much support have you needed to get to the start line? It's taken about 18 months now to get to where we are and we've had some fantastic sponsorships come on board. The support from Traffics has been absolutely wonderful. They say that the hardest part of this whole expedition is that we're, we need to get to the start line. And once, you, once you pass the start line, all you've got to do is eat, sleep, row, keep going. So our sponsors have been key and without them, we wouldn't. this, would, this whole thing wouldn't be happening. If you could add a fifth crew member into the boat, who would it be? <laughs> I'd probably say my mother, but she'd drive absolutely everybody <laughs> crazy and we'd throw her overboard before the end of it. <laughs> so I'm thinking about size and space here. I'm going to take Ooh. my best friend, my little dog. Aww. Little Summer would come in. She'd be like a little hot water bottle. She'd be useless at rowing. But she'd be a little hot water bottle there when it gets a bit cold. But she's also good for space. And she'd snuggle in basically home comfort. My dog on board. That'd be amazing. Who will play you in Force Atlantic 21 in the movie? Wonder Woman, of course. Of <laughs> course, she's beautiful, so <laughs> true. We'll with her. Me, I'm going to be there as a celebrity playing myself before Atlantic 21. Especially if she's getting paid. Especially if I'm getting paid. <laughs> <laughs>